Hello, I'm Alien St. Hilaire, and in this video, I'm going to show you the new system that is part of Mesh Central in order to deal with AMT and configure it, activate it, and use it. So, Mesh Central has a brand new system that basically allows it to talk to AMT and do all the setup correctly. And there's a new mode to just do it all for you automatically. So, if I take a look at my screen here, there's a bunch of uh, computers. Obviously, you don't need AMT to use um, Mesh Central, but if you happen to have AMT, like the, bottom, the computers at the bottom here, then uh, you get extra benefits. The reason why AMT is showing on my screen is because Mesh Central can already talk to AMT on the local LAN uh, as it is, but um, I'm not using AMT for anything special. And in this case, if you click on this um, computer too, you'll see that AMT is currently not activated on this device, right? Not at all. So let's suppose I want to use AMT. What do I do? Well, I'm going to duplicate my tab here so that I leave, I'm going to leave this machine here and I'm going to click on the device group. So, you know, this is my device group called Lab Computers. I'm going to click on this. And here there's a entry called Intel AMT, it says no policy, that's a default. No policy means that you can use AMT, but you're on your own to activate and set up AMT yourself. Uh, Mesh Central will not try to uh, modify the configuration of any AMT device. But you click here and you can pick a few different policies. There's deactivate, this will try to basically uh, remove all the configuration uh, off of uh, AMT devices. If you're in CCM, it will deactivate it. If you're in ACM, it will keep it, but it will clean it up and remove like Sierra and stuff. And then you have CCM, ACM, and you have the new fully automatic mode. So in fully automatic, you're just letting Mesh Central take care of uh, setting up AMT the best it can. Now, it obviously can't do any magic, but uh, because it knows the situation, it knows the network condition, it can pull the agents and so on, it can it has a lot of information that it can use to figure out how to best use AMT. So I'm just going to go ahead and say OK on here. But before I do, I want you guys to look at um, this Tiny2 machine. AMT is currently not activated. As soon as I click that, all the machine in part of the, as part of the group, including this one, will start to activate. So I'll say click OK, and you'll see this machine here is immediately in uh, is already activated in CCM. And I'll, you'll notice these other machines that are in ACM. In a few uh, seconds, Sierra will connect and we'll monitor uh, Tiny2 here as the server is going to set up TLS. And there it goes. You see TLS has just been set up on that machine. And you see on the bottom right, Sierra, Sierra, Sierra. So these machines uh, of Sierra connected and AMT has already reached out and connected back to my central. There's a Sierra right here on my Intel compute stick. And then uh, Tiny2 is lagging behind because it had a couple extra activation steps because of the CCM. So uh, it's taking a little bit longer, but there it goes, Sierra is there. So literally in a few clicks, I activated my machines. Mesh Central took care of setting up Sierra for me. It took care of all the settings, the certificates, um, activating KVM and so on. And now I can click on this computer, click desktop, and you'll see there's a connect and a hardware connect button. Connect connects to the remote agent and hardware connect will connect to uh, Intel EMT. In this case here, I'm in CCM, client control mode. So uh, the machine is uh, requires user consent. But if I go to a machine like this one, that's, that uh, if you notice here, I'll, I'll go back. This machine has ACM TLS version 11. Then I can click hardware and you can see this machine. Um, I have hardware KVM now and I did not need user consent. Okay, so basically super easy to set up AMT. Now, if you want to decommission, you just go into the group. I'm going to go back into this compute group and I'm going to switch it to no, uh, to deactivate. And as soon as I do that, this machine in CCM is going to go and be unprovisioned. And these other machines, AMT um, is going to, um, we're going to remove Sierra configuration from all these machines. So I'm going to click OK. And you're going to see that right now. 
So tiny2 here is already not activated. And you see Syrah dropping off from these machines as we're basically changing the configuration on all the remote machines. This one is lagging behind, but at some point it will get decommissioned too. Okay, so that's super easy. One last thing I want to talk about. What if you have a device group that is agentless? That means you're not running the software agent, you're only running AMT and nothing else. And that's something that's totally uh, available to you on Mesh Central. It, it's useful if you don't want to add another OS agent to your computers, but you have AMT on a lots of computers. You just want to use AMT and nothing else. Perfectly fine. What you do is you create a new device group that's agentless. You go in here, set up the policy to full automatic. Now, the thing is, because there's no agent, these you know no computers can join this group. Uh, easily or can um, our Mesh Central can't go and reconfigure any of these computers. However, you download Mesh Command, which is this little tool here, and then you click Setup, and there's a command line that you just cut and paste and run on the remote computers. And basically it says Mesh Command, um, AMT Config, the URI of your server, the device group, this, um, this device, uh, it should be part of and then the HTTP server hash which is the hash of your uh, server certificate. Once you run this what will happen is mesh command will open a pipe to the uh, server it will and allow the server to set up activate AMT do all the work and uh, you'll see a nice screen with uh, all the step-by-step -step stuff that's going on that the server's executing on the machine and you're done. Um, also in full automatic mode if there's any opportunities to conv to take a CCM machine and make it ACM, Mesh Central will do that for you automatically. So that is super convenient. So that's it for my quick demonstration of Intel AMT using the new Mesh Central system. Hope you enjoy.